Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 8 of our build deploy test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. And in this we will be talking about creating pipeline project using Jenkins 2.0 for build, test and reporting. And before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 6 and 7 since this part is going to be a complete continuation of those two parts. Well, in part six and seven, we talked how to work with a freestyle project and how to create a project, how to compile a project and how to run a test using that particular freestyle project in much greater detail in part six and seven. And in this video, we'll be talking about creating pipeline project a lot because pipeline is the future of Jenkins and very, very interesting things are happening using this Jenkins file. And the Jenkins file is more like a very, very simple code that you can write using Groovy where you can just, you know, try to create your own build steps very, very easily and much customizable. And this is really, really awesome if you start looking at how pipeline is really changing the way Jenkins is in 2.0. Well, now to get started, I'm going to flip to Windows 10 virtual machine and see how things work. So this is the same project which we have been working so long in our Jenkins. So I'm just going to go to this particular project back and I'm going to do the dashboard. This time, I'm not really interested in this freestyle anymore. I am going to work with the pipeline project as I already said. So I'm going to click this new item and I'm going to choose pipeline and let's give a name for this. Let's do this. Since the project name is going to be like Selenium with Cucumber, so I'm just going to use the same name, Selenium with Cucumber Pipeline, right? And then I'm going to hit OK. So this time it's going to create a pipeline project. And you can see that this pipeline project, it actually has the same look and feel. You don't see any pipes out here or there. But basically, the only change that you can very quickly notice while you encounter, while you come down here is this. You can see there's something called a pipeline, but it's pretty blank. There is nothing else to be seen. Basically, this pipeline is like a groovy sandbox that you can see here. And basically, it is not something that you can do in a freestyle project that we did before. In a freestyle project, as you remember, we had a UI for each and every option. So if you, if you go back a little bit over here to the Jenkins, you can see for the basic EA freestyle, and if you go to the configuration, you can basically see that it had a source code management for the git so we gave a github repository over here and then we also gave uh, a, a build option over here invoke top level megan target and the goal was to verify and this verify will automatically run the test for us right and then there is a post action that you can specify here like sending an email and all those options well these are something which we did in our previous video using freestyle but right now in pipeline, the complete UI interface is changed and there is a very, very simple pipeline multi-line text box there. So what is this change? How to really type a Groovy script in the pipeline? Because as we know that Groovy is something very different. Maybe you guys know what is Groovy is and how to work with Groovy. I personally don't know what Groovy is and how to write a, a code using Groovy. And I really thought like I cannot really make it with the Jenkins 2.0 because there is something called Groovy. Again, I have to learn Groovy and again, I have to start using it's kind of cumbersome. I thought Jenkins is really making our lives very hard. But while I dived into this pipeline, I just really started to love with it because it's very, very simple as like the freestyle project and it's the future of the Jenkins itself. So we really have to use it. So where do I get the syntax of these pipeline you can actually go over here there's a pipeline syntax and if i just open this you can see that it is going to take you to your own local host called 80 slash jobs and with cucumber pipeline and there is a pipeline syntax and this pipeline syntax is very very easy and pretty pretty awesome because you can see there is a sample steps here right and here you can use this particular sample step to perform the operation like archiving running a bash script running a job and then if you come here sending an email and then you can see there's a git right let's choose this git and you can see this is the same ui that we saw in our freestyle project right where we just pasted the repo url and then we just let it the branch as master we did not give any credentials i just left it right that's pretty same ui it is so what we can do is basically i can once again copy the a repository to clone from here 
and I can just paste it over here, right? And now if I want to see what is the syntax of Groovy for this particular action that I made in the UI, you can just hit this generate pipeline script. That's it. This is the super simple command that we have to give git. That's it. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. Super simple, right? So this is how you can perform the operation using pipeline. And I don't know why it is called as named as pipeline. Maybe it is like piping in each other commands one by one and then perform the operation. That's why it is, it should be pipeline. I don't know, but yes, it's very, very awesome. And now, as I said, we have given the git. There we go. And the next option that we did is the execution of Maven, right? So now if I come down a little bit, did we see anything like Maven option? If I come back or come down here, no, there are so many darker things and you can see there is an advanced and deprecated options as well. So maybe it can work or it cannot work as well. But there is something called as a common step. I remember if you go here, if I come down, yep, step general build step. And here you can actually see there are a lot of general build steps, but we don't really see our Maven thing. So basically if you don't see the one which you are looking for, then you can easily do using what is called as a batch script of Windows, right? So for executing a Maven command, we know what is the command. We just did in our manual execution as well. MVN and then we just keyword verify, right? MVN build, MVN compile, MVN verify. That's it. So in order to do that, the batch script is very, very easier. So if you want to execute a Maven command, you just do what? MVN, and then we just do verify for our project at least. And now if I just try to generate the pipeline script, that's it. This is the command for verifying. And if I want to compile, of course it is gonna compile. I can just do compile, generate script, you can see BAT MVN compile and BAT MVN verify. So simple it is, right? So this is the command for generating the Maven command. So if I just do this, there we go. So this is the command. I can just copy that and I can perform the operation. But basically I'm really interested in compiling so I can just do a MVN verify. I can just copy this and then I can go over here and then I can just paste it over here right so this is going to take our project from the github and then it's going to verify meaning it's going to run the ui test for us as well so i'm going to save this this is the very simple configuration for the pipeline of jenkins and now if i want to build again the same option here the pull now so if i hit it you can see that there is going to be a build starting in so if i select that and if i go to the console output we can see there is a problem this time. It says that the Jenkin pipeline workflow is required and it says that the path is missing. Well, the problem is actually happening because we are missing a workflow which is required for the pipeline to be executed. And it also kind of not telling exactly what the problem is happening. But if you just go back, I know what is the problem is. It says that perhaps you forgot to surround the code, the step that provides this such as node. So it is expecting us to pass a node for the particular pipeline. So again, if you see what is node suddenly because we have not given any node so far in our freestyle execution, but why is this required for the pipeline? Well, this is really a process. If you see in our Jenkins, if I go to the home page of a Jenkins, we actually have a build executors and these executors are kind of, kind of idle right now. We have two build executors and if I click this, you can see that we have a master build executor where it is having two executors here. This master is basically what is called as a node or otherwise called as a node which is available within your master machine. So if you have many number of nodes, you can just configure them as a different nodes to perform different executor executions or otherwise called as different executors and you can specify the executors as well. So again, once again, guys, these are something we'll be discussing later in this course. But for now, just be informed that this node is kind of very, very important because if you click this node, you can see that you can create different nodes for your execution and you can scale out your nodes to be sitting in different machines if you want. And that is 
kind of an option that you can do in Jenkins. And for the pipeline, it is by default expecting you to pass the executors or the race call as nodes to execute your pipelines. So for doing that, if I go to the Serenade with Cucumber pipeline and if I go to the configure, basically it is expecting us to pass a node. And again, if you ask me what is node and how do I give the syntax for the node, basically you can just give a syntax of the node very, very simply. Just go into the syntax over here. Oops, I think I've also given a wrong problem here. I just have to copy this value bad MVN verify instead of this I can just paste that all right we saw some other error as well along the line and if I go over here to the sample steps here this time and if I just drill down a little bit we need a node right so if I just come over here for the syntax of the node the very very simple option is here node allocate node and if we want to give a label for the node, because our node currently is this Windows 10 machine, so I can just give Win 10, which is my local machine. And if I hit generate pipeline script, you can see that it is going to tell you that the node is this. This is the simple option that you can give node and the name of the label over here. And it is also intelligently saying that there is no agent or cloud that machines that matches this particular assignment. Do you mean master instead of Windows 10? So if I say master and if I hit generate pipeline, now it is pretty much served and I also say the label master is served by one node, right? And now you get the idea, right? I showed you the master over there and it was the current machine that we are running this particular Jenkins itself, right? So this is what it is. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna paste this and within this surrounded code block I'm gonna paste my code over here right and let's do a simple alignment here that's it so this is it so now we have a node and we have this particular operation that we're gonna perform within this node and then I close this particular node now I'm gonna save it and now if I try to build this time this time, it should hopefully try to build the project without any problem. And also, it should perform the UI test for us. Let's see what's really happening. You can see that this time, there is no error. It is trying to clone the repo for us. And then it is going to start the test as usual without any problem, if there is no problem. And you can see that the Maven verify is also really happening there. All right, it is scanning the project, which means it is the Maven is also verified and now it's going to run the test for us. So this is it. That's it guys. So you can see that using the simple operations using the pipeline, we can perform this pipeline operation in Jenkins 2.0. And as I already said, Jenkins is really a way of build step in the future releases because the pipeline is really really concentrated than compared to the freestyle project itself and again if you are very comfortable with the freestyle you can still use that but again pipeline has given a really cool option than compared to the freestyle project itself it is very simple all you have to do is just write a very few lines of code here and there and you are pretty much good to go and you can see that the test is running right now it is executing all the tests as expected so everything is working fine as expected so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day